All right, man. When is the car going to be ready? All right. Next week, man. I promise next week. Just come in. You don't even have to call. It's going to be ready, man. Next week. Pink, I come in next week. The fucking place is deserted. <laughs>
called this guy. I said, hey, I'm not going to lie to you. This is what I'm trying to do. I need, I, 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 can you fix my window at a cheaper price than the place my insurance is trying to, you know, take me to so I can, you know, whatever, get a, extra money. And the guy, because the guy is cool when we're talking. He's like, you know what, man, we kind of, we deal with this a lot, right? I, and this, we can fix you up. It'd be just like brand new. You know, this is the shop. He has a website, all of that. It's a re fucking regular shop. He does everything. He fixes <laughs> yeah. cars. He fixes windows. If you get a website, you're legit. <laughs> yeah, a website, you're fucking legit, man. Last updated in 2009, but it's still up there. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I take it to him. I talk to him on the phone. He's a nice guy. You know, middle aged, you know, white guy, but he has I go I drive to the shop. Never trust middle aged white guys. <laughs> Come on. How foolish are you? Very foolish at this time. I drive to the shop. He has other cars there. You know. You got you know, you got I it was one it was like a an Asian lady in the in the lobby. You know, it looked it's very it's a legit business. So I leave my car. And, um, I leave, you know, I leave my car because I'm not going through the insurance. I don't get a rental, but it's OK because I could drive. I could ride a bike to fucking work. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm OK. I'm, I'm my goal. My mind is to get this money at the end of the fucking time when my car is done. I'm going to get this check. All right. So a week goes by. Don't hear from this guy, man. I don't hear from this guy, so I call. I say, hey, you know, what's going on with my car? Oh, you know, it's, it'll be ready. Because he told me it's only going to take three to five days. It's, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and Jesus rose in less time. <laughs> week goes by. Two weeks goes by. No call. I call him. Same thing. <laughs> hey, man, it'll be ready. It'll be ready next week. <clears throat> we had to order a fucking part from whatever. What part is a window? What, you, what, <laughs> what part do you need? Next week comes, still, no car, no call. I call, I, no answer. You're doing regular times. I don't get an answer. Call again, call again, don't get an answer. I drive up there. I drive up there. It's a guy. He's like, yeah, man, we've been slammed. We've been very busy. So I said, man, you know what? I just take my car. I'll just go somewhere else. I'll go with my insurance. Was, so, was the Asian lady still propped? No. <laughs> like a fucking mannequin. <laughs> so, um... So I said, where's my car? He's like, you know, well, we had to move it to our other shop. The the, the guy, the mechanic took the... I said, man, call this guy, man. I've been calling him. He's not picking up. Call him. Right now, call him. So he calls him. I didn't notice your second shop on the website. <laughs> Did not notice. There was not a second shop on the fucking website. So he calls him. He says, he says, oh, yeah, man, we had to move your car to our second location uh, because we have some new imports coming in and whatever. What the <laughs> All right, man, when is the car going to be ready? All right, next week, man, I promise next week, just come in. You don't even have to call. It's going to be ready, man, next week. Pink, I come in next week. The fucking place is deserted. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking place is fucking deserted, man. And it's like it's like two or three other people. In the in the um, you know in the parking lot or whatever in front of the place they're like what the fuck is going on you know my car my car this is and that <laughs> apparently this guy has a fucking scheme where he's taking people cars as mechanic is taking people cars and just fleeing away with them right <laughs> but at the time I don't know this so I'm like what the fuck is going on? we call the police and we have to go through this whole fucking thing trying to find this guy and track this guy down so we can get our cars back the police don't find anything. Right. Of course. Weeks go by. Weeks go by. Police don't find anything. What they do find is that this guy has a fucking history of doing this. He sets up places. He said he had a set up in Texas. He had a set up in Iowa. He had a set up in Tennessee. Same thing. He sets up a legitimate shop, legitimate LLC, but under a different name every time. Okay. And he just takes people cars, take people cars and whatever. My fucking luck. I come across this guy. All right. So I call my good man Pink here, man. <laughs> we, I don't even know if we had started our radio show yet. I don't, we not, nah, I don't think at that point. I don't, I don't think at that yeah, point. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Pink's like, well, you know, I'm not really this type of lawyer. <laughs> 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 and in these cases, uh, you know, I'm not sure you're ever going to get your fucking car back. <laughs> but we can see what we can do. So we go to court, all type of shit, man. But I never fucking see this car again, no. man. And we almost won. We went up to Lake County. The, the, we were having a hearing, not with that guy. So what, what happened was 
Bubba pays this guy. He pockets the cash. Mm-hmm. He te- he ships the car off to basically a subcontractor shop to do the work, and he's supposed to pay them. So he ships Bubba's car up to like Eustis or Mountain Door or one of those godforsaken places, <laughs> and then he stiffs those guys on the work. They did the work, so under the law, they have a mechanics lien on the car and a claim to the car. And um, we made a claim to get, I think, the car back or something. We go to the hearing. The guy doesn't show. Not the guy that defrauded Bubba, but the guy at the other shop. The judge, like, awards in our favor. We're walking out the courthouse. We're on the way to the elevator with the W. And the bailiff chases us down <laughs> and goes, homeboy was late, but he's coming up now. Come back in here. Oh, shit. And so at that point, we were screwed because the law was against us. We almost got a, got a cheap win there against yeah. the mechanics lien. Uh, but, but you know, I don't know. If the light was red, just I, a I'm few I'm maintaining that more. we were hometown in Lake County. Yeah, man. They, they smelled the city slickers on us and <laughs> gave us the hometown business out there. But, no, it's, you know, it, no lie. You have become a cautionary tale mm-hmm. in my career because, like, a lot of times, like, like I'll have clients who, you, oh, you know, I can take my car here and get it fixed on the cheap, and I'm don't do it. <laughs> it do will end it. badly. It will. I, you know, it, it, and, and this anybody watching this, if your car's damaged and the insurance company is going to send it to a shop, send it there. Here's why: Bubba walking off the street trying to pull a fast one on the insurance company is an easy mark what are you gonna do you're a one-off guy yeah so i'll take your money and whatever i don't care what type of work i do i might not do any work at all and you can't really do too much against me but if i'm operating a shop and geico or all state or state farm is sending me 15 cars a week to fix i want to keep that account because it means a lot to me and i'm gonna have to do a certain level of quality work so that they're not getting complaints and saying, hey, man, I need to take Brian's that shop off sense. the rotation. Yeah. And so that's, you know, we're not always serious, but we are right now. Um, if your car is damaged and the insurance company is telling you you're going to fix it, take it to their recommended shop. Yeah. Uh, like and literally, unless you're doing the work yourself uh, because you are ripe to be taken. And those shops, whether we like them or not, whether we feel they're the insurance company shop or not, they have a vested interest in keeping that account open, and the way they do that is by doing decent work. Yeah. So I lost my car, but I did get a month of get, of head and whatever I asked for it. So I hope you asked for it multiple times a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like meals in prison. <laughs> like, I was riding bikes for a long time, man. <laughs> long you, time. Did you give her some sweaty ball head? <laughs> fresh out, fresh off the outside court, man. Yeah, fresh out. I'm fresh off my eight mile bike ride. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ever think about what it'd be like to blow Lance Armstrong with two testicles? Oh, <laughs> well, here it is, your chance. Somewhere in the world, people are screaming three, three <laughs> testicles. <laughs>